and we think about college, time during college, I think it's a very exciting time of life, and um, it's a time when people can discover parts of, parts of themselves that they hadn't thought about before. It's a time when they gradually shift away and they're discovering more about themselves, they're discovering uh, more about their relationships with other people. In psychological science, for people like us who study relationships, uh, when we think about relationships in college, we often think of this transition between uh, how we grow up and the context in which we grow up and all the new discoveries that we make. Having that extra support and somebody who believes in you and is going to be there for you when good things happen, when bad things happen, they're your cheering section and you're their cheering section is really good to have. But we recently decided to move it up and, and like get engaged. I'm having my fiance at a different school, quite difficult because we, we transferred from a community college where we went together. So we had some classes together and we commuted together and whatnot. So now there is a bit of separation. So that makes it more difficult on your relationship. You don't get to spend as much time together. Our class schedules are completely different. Something that is true of all relationships is that uh, couples expect support from each other. Partners expect support from each other. And a lot of times, it's easier for couples to provide that support if they're going through similar experiences. Um, there can be some real advantages for an individual to um, have a partner off campus in the sense that it allows them to um, take a break from school, to think about mm -hmm. school in a different way. You have to allow them to have their student experience as well and try not to be too critical of it because I have my unique experience at UCLA where his unique experience at Cal Poly is completely different. A challenge for some couples who are not both in the same place educationally or, or in terms of their work life, whether they're different ages or in different parts of life where one person's in college and the other person isn't, is it requires more coordination. Any little bit of time together that we have, we try to connect. So we're both combat vets, so we both have that in common, which a lot of people don't have, and so we understand each other on a different level than most people. I'm thankful that I was able to be able to go to school with somebody that would support me. There's a, there's a lot of reasons why people all over the world, in every culture of the world, in every part of the planet, form monogamous emotional ties. There's, you know, companionship, there's security, there's knowing who it is that you're going to curl up with. Uh, I've never liked the idea of um, being in a relationship without really um, wanting commitment as a part of it. We've made mistakes before and we know what doesn't work and one of them is fighting over text or expecting them to read your mind mm. and that's if that's not going to work face to face, then it's really not going to work when you're texting or Skyping. One reason that people in college grow and change so much is that they have relationships. Relationships are, in many ways, an avenue for growth and change for a lot of people. Our culture has so put so much emphasis on the one and soulmate, and I think that's harmful in the long run. I think there's definitely people that you're more compatible with, but I think it's very silly to just expect this one person to be perfect for you. I think it's more about how much work you're willing to do and how much sacrifice you're willing to yeah. make. It's the small things that show that love and it's also putting the effort to the big things. Um, yeah, that's definitely going to help with our long distance and our marriage as well, mm -hmm. as long as we remember that. <laughs> our marriage. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. married. <laughs> yeah. uh,